Welcome to today's DIY. I'm Genevieve Lowry and today's child life tip is on talking to your children about the coronavirus or COVID-19. So I know that it's been tough to sort of figure out what are the right ways and the right balance to talk to children about um, ways to wash their hands, protect themselves from a virus, why we're so why we're social distancing and what is social distancing. So one of the ways that I sometimes will engage children in helping them understand how a virus works, how it spreads, and the importance of hand washing is I'll use a sort of this I hold these sequins in my hands. It's a large size sequins, so it's easy to see. Um, and I will just achoo and cough and sort of spread it out across the table. And that gives a real visual for kids to see, oh, just that simple sneeze or cough can spread a germs or virus pretty far and helps them better understand why we're staying separate from one another right now during this time of, the, of an outbreak. And that it's a way that we can all come together to help and support each other. So it's kind of just a fun activity to sort of sneeze it all out and show kids why it's really important that we also be washing our hands. You can demonstrate to kids that when they touch surfaces that the, um, that the sequin sticks to their hand the same way that a virus would also stick to their hand. And that by washing our hands with soap and water helps to get rid of those germs on our hands so that we don't give it to ourselves or spread it to other people. Some other fun activities that I was thinking about when I was sort of trying to figure out what are the what are ways that we can kind of lighten the mood a little bit, but also come together and helping our children better understand what's going on in their lives um, with all the changes that are happening, staying home from school, uh, parents not going to work, and helping kids really understand and create a safe space for them to talk about. Um, what is a virus? What's coronavirus? What's social distancing? Right? So some things that I thought about was I made my own uh, virus bingo game. Now granted, my drawings are not particularly great. They're not, um, I'm not the world's greatest artist, but you get the idea. There's an H for hospital. There are stick figures that are standing six feet apart. There are uh, germ, pictures of germs uh, and uh, hand washing. Um, and I spelled the word virus at the top. And we often play a game called medical bingo in hospitals. And so I was thinking, what's a way to sort of do this at home? You can even do it online with family and friends where somebody calls out the toilet paper, right? Where people have made their own versions of the boards and use their own chips or whatever to mark the space. Uh, and that's just sort of a fun way to engage people in conversation, to come together as, as a family or as a community in an online format to play a game. Another one I thought about um, that helps children find a safe space to talk about and ask questions is to make our own virus. So this is my version of the coronavirus or COVID-19. So this is just air dry clay, but these are tic-tac-toe pieces, but you could use Play-Doh, you could use Model Magic, you can make your own Play-Doh, you could use golf tees for this, or I was even thinking about raiding my spice cabinet and pulling out my whole clothes and sticking those in there. It'll be one smelly virus, but it certainly creates an image. Um, it's important also to let kids create and fabricate their own. So giving just even laying out a bunch of collage materials gives kids the opportunities to create their own version of a virus, or maybe they want to be feel empowered and create their own version of a vaccine or treatment for the virus. What this does is it creates a safe space for kids to talk about, for kids to have a little bit of fun with this, to lighten the mood a little bit, but it also allows parents to, um, to connect with their children around these topics that feel somewhat out of control and to find a way to have some control over what's happening in their lives. It's really important as parents to answer children's questions honestly, uh, but to also be mindful of how we talk about and describe uh, where this disease came from, how it happened, that we want to be really careful that we're not creating stereotypes or biases of people and that we're being, that we're creating a sense of 
um, coming together, that this is a time for us to function as a team, both as a, as a family team, a community team, and looking at the world, that we all need to come together at a time and really think about what are ways that we can help and support one another. It's also really important for you to always be reassuring your children as well that there are doctors and scientists that are working on better understanding how the disease spreads, how to treat it, and some are also working on a vaccine. So I hope that you find a little bit of fun and a little bit of humor in a somewhat of a dark time, but it's really important to help kids find ways to talk about and express and feel control over something that feels really out of control. So thank you very much for coming to today's DIY, talking to children about the coronavirus or COVID-19.